And tonight in business news, Vatania introduces 3G mobile service to Gaftal Tinadu. The service was introduced to Tinadu during the 7th Telecom Fair. Vatania informs that the residents of Tinadu can easily access to high-speed 3G plus service from any area in the island. Vatania's 3G network covers a large area of Maldives, including 30 resort islands. China's ruling Communist Party is meeting in Beijing to draw up its next five-year plan for the economy. The agenda is secret, but analysts say that instead of seeking a high rate of economic growth, China's leader wants to close the gap between rich and poor and between coastal and inland areas. Analysts will also be watching for signs of who will be China's next leader due to take office in 2012. The meeting comes amid renewed scrutiny of human rights in China. Earlier this week, a letter signed by 23 Communist Party leaders circulated calling for an end to restrictions on the freedom of speech. The letter described China's censorship system as a scandal and an embarrassment. Their call came just days after the jail dissident Liu Xiaobao, a champion for democracy in China, was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. A group of 100 activists in China has now signed a petition calling for his release. There is speculation that political reform will even be on the meeting's agenda after Premier Wen Jiabao recently issued a call for openness. In August, he said without political reform, China may lose what it has already achieved through economic restructuring. But in a sign of possible resistance to those calls, China's state media did not report them domestically. Such unusually outspoken calls for political reform are the backdrop for this year's four-day Communist Party Congress. Details of the meeting of the 300-member Central Committee are usually only released at its close. State media said President Hu Jintao and Mr. Venna are expected to attend the gathering to discuss proposals for the nation's next five-year development plan from 2011 to 2015. In tonight in sports, National Surfing Championship begins in Male Tol Tulustu on Friday. The first event on the opening day was board category. 11 surfers from Male and 13 surfers from Tulustu competed in this category. The competition in this category will held for three days. The surfing competition will conclude on 21st of September. The Liverpool Soccer Club's owners ended their Texas court efforts to halt the sale of the 18-time English champion enabling the judge in Dallas to cancel an order blocking it. Judge Jim Jordan dissolved the injunction during a hearing today in state court in Dallas. The action didn't end the owner's effort to win damages for what they call the legal sale of the club, they say today in a statement. Attorney Stephen Fox, who represents owners Tom Hicks and George Gillett, and George Bramblett, who represents Purchasers New England Sports Ventures LLC, said earlier the Hicks group was willing to give up the order issued two days ago blocking the team's sale. Royal Bank of Scotland Group Public Limited earlier this week won an order from a London court reversing changes to the club's board sought by the men possibly clearing the way for the sale. Liverpool's independent directors approved the 475 US million US dollar sale to the New England group led by John W. Henry, owner of Major League Baseball's Boston Red Sox. Hicks and Hicks and Gillette owe 237 million pounds to the Royal Bank of Scotland, 200 million of which would be repaid upon the sale. The soccer club, a five-time European champion, is off to its worst start in more than 50 years.